Our next guest played Maria in Steven Spielberg's West Side Story. She is a future Snow White and one of the title titans in Shazam, Fury of the Gods. It opens in theaters Friday. Please welcome Rachel Zegler. <laughs> It's so nice to be here. Did you now? Do you know Seth Rogen because you were your Steven Spielberg connection? You know what? Everybody just assumes. I think once you do a Steven Spielberg movie, you know the shark from Jaws. Like you know them personally. Their yeah. contacts in your phone. E.T. is a friend. Yeah. Oh yeah. my God. Close friend. We went to college together. <laughs> and no, I mean Seth and I have never met, um, but we had a really funny Twitter exchange once where the official Amblin Twitter tweeted out something about Seth and West Side Story, but they capitalized all of West Side Story and it made it look like it was a casting announcement. Oh, and like Seth movie, was in West the Side Story? The movie had been in the can for months, and I was like, this looks like we cast Seth Rogen in West Side Story. And he tweeted back, it doesn't look like that. Doesn't it look like that? And I was like, maybe we, we recast Riff and he's doing it now. But he would have been great in West Side really Story. I really think he would be a really strong Anita. <laughs> and we should give him the chance. He does look like an Anita, yeah, you know? Yeah. yeah. Wow, well, that's something else. Good How dance. about that? I can tell. So, so yeah, not, not a, you're not part of the uh, hanging out with Steven gang now. No, I guess not. Do people call you Maria on the street? Boy, do they. They do. Oh, oh that's great. God. Is that, that's got to be delightful, they huh? They sing to me. Oh. All the time. Oh, my God. Really? Yeah. I had an instance. I was here a couple weeks ago to do press for Shazam, and the entire Shazam Ali and I we went out to dinner. And I was, uh, I walked to the ladies' room, and there was a man coming out of the men's room, and he looked at me, and he just went, I've just kissed a girl named Maria. And I came back from the bathroom, and I walked up to DJ Catrona, and I grabbed him by the shoulders, and I said, we need to leave. Oh, really? <laughs> He ruined your Applebee's dining experience. Yeah. It was actually, it was a Chili's, but I'm glad <laughs> <not> you. <here. laughs> wow, that's, yeah, that's no good. Yeah, no. people have a hard time sometimes because it, they're not prepared to see you just as you're not prepared to see them. Exactly. And then weird things pop out of their heads. There's no line, there's no filter, it's gone. Yeah, no. And COVID made it worse. <laughs> it, do you feel like COVID made it worse? Yeah. Why? I feel like we, a lot of us lost our social skills a little bit. I think you're right. We got out of practice in a lot of ways. I yeah. Think they think they're looking at me on their screen. That is a weird like, thing too, yeah. Yeah, I'm sure you get that a lot. <laughs> yeah, I do. I get that. I get sometimes people will explain why they haven't been watching the show. <laughs> I'm like... And you're like, you know, I missed your view. You week. could just lie. I mean, oh, yeah. I'm okay with a little bit of lying. Yeah. It would be perfectly fine. <laughs> yeah. But they don't sing to you. Yeah, I do not. No, rarely no. does anyone sing to me. It almost never happens. You're missing yeah. out. Yeah, no, I'm glad nobody sings to me. That's for sure. Yeah, for sure. Um, West Side Story was your first movie, right? That's, yes. um, and so And you... I mean, this is a crazy job to have. Was this... You had jobs before? Yeah, I, I, I mean, surprisingly, right? Because I did it... I was at 17 when I did West Side Story, but um, I was a wedding singer. I, I worked at a church, and so I was a wedding singer, a funeral singer, and oh. I sang at masses. I just did everything through the church. Wow, you did. Yeah. You would sing like the first dance, or I, I was the, the masses. Oh. So I don't Google us. I worked for the Catholic Church, and it was uh, one of those things where I used to do that when I was an altar boy, and then we loved doing the weddings and the funerals actually because we got ten dollars uh, for it. <laughs> Did you get paid the to do it? The funeral business is, yeah, I did get paid. You did I get mean, paid, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I was paying taxes at like 14. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> yeah. So you got paid more than $10, I would imagine, for yeah. singing. And what kind of songs do you sing at uh, in the church? So they have to be, obviously, if it's going to be a, a, a secular song, it has to be approved by the church. And there were only about three of them that I was allowed to sing that were not from the hymnals. Do you remember what they were? I do, because, oh God, I wish I could forget. But it was, <laughs> there was one that I thought was... A, Especially hilarious was the wedding song from Twilight was on the roster. Oh wow! If you that, wanted "If Thousand Years" by Christina Perry, we are gonna sing it for you. Yeah, I and do like that song it's a actually. Great song. But it's a vamp. Yeah, vampires. A at vampire church. wedding oh, song at church. They probably didn't know. They probably just read the lyrics yeah. and said, "This and they checks were like, out." Yeah, no and problem. I'll be with you for a thousand years and a thousand more. The sanctity of marriage. Put yeah. it in the mass. <laughs> <laughs> what were the other ones? Um, I did sing Sunrise, Sunset from Fiddler on the Roof once. I did like an interfaith 
uh, wedding. Oh, okay. I was going to say it's a weird one for I know. a Catholic church. Yeah, uh -huh. we had a we had a rabbi presiding and a pastor, and gotcha. then uh, and then one of them was a song called the wedding song, and it uh, it's also called There Is Love. Oh yeah, the most famous. The Captain and Tennille. Captain and Tennille. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, that's yeah. a it's a dreadful song, really, it, isn't it? It's pretty funeral marchy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's a tough one, and it's yeah. weird because the Captain and Tennille only got married for tax purposes. They, there, there was no romance there whatsoever. Their accountant was like, you know, you guys should probably get married. And I rest my case. <laughs> well, there's a lot of excitement for uh, this live action Snow White. I mean, we nobody really even knows what you're going to do. I know. I don't even know. <laughs> we know Gal Gadot plays uh, the evil queen. Yeah. You play Snow White. I do. Guillermo's like three of the dwarves, I think, right? Yeah, four. Four of the dwarves. <laughs> Nieves, see? Yeah, Blanca Nieves. Yeah, Blanca Nieves. <laughs> That's a fun thing to be part of. It's incredible. Especially now you go to well, you can't even go to Disneyland anymore. I Have you ever know. been to that Snow White ride at Disneyland? I get stopped for photos every time I'm online for the Snow White ride, and it is the I have to pretend like oh god. <laughs> Well, crazy that we're in front of this. Wait, how often are you in line for the Snow White ride? <laughs> I'm a narcissist. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, it's always like my, my publicist, Ashton, was with me the last time it happened, and I was like, God, I hope no one, because every time they come up to me, I'm always online for this freaking ride, and they, they think I'm, it's like I'm standing there waiting for the photo op, being like, well, you kind of are, you know? No, I guess like so. Like if Harrison Ford's not out standing outside of Indiana Jones going, hey, everybody, want to yeah. yeah. twist the rope? Yeah, you want to touch my hat? <laughs> like, I don't know. That, that It's just the weirdest thing, but it always happens to me, and I always have to just pretend that I, I don't always spend my time here. I swear to God. Is that your favorite ride? I mean, that's a weird thing, that it you is. are Snow White now. I mean, wow. it's one of the original. I'm a really big Disney fan. I grew up at the Disney parks. My parents took me every summer. Oh, you did? Yeah, okay. so it, it's like, it is. It's part of my upbringing. It's my favorite thing. So it, it's just one of those things yeah, that comes don't, with the territory. Well, then, if you love it, don't let them scare you away from the Snow White ride. Yeah. yeah. The Evil Queen will do that. Now, Shazam, there's no ride for Shazam, right? Shazam has no ride. You know what? There actually is at, oh. a, at a Six Flags in like the middle of nowhere. Is that true? <laughs> yeah, and it's one of those, I don't even know how to describe it, but it's one of those just amusement park rides. Can you be found standing in that line too? I do do photo ops, but for money. <laughs> <laughs> you play, um, what, like a 6,000 year old goddess, correct? I do, yes. And your sisters are Lucy Liu and Helen Mirren. They are, yeah. They're your sisters. Yeah. Well, that's a pretty good, solid trio to be a part perfect of. perfect sense, genetically. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's 6,000 years. I mean, what does, you know, I mean, Exactly, really. exactly. Well, that was one of the things that Helen Mirren said on the first day. She comes up to me, she's like, well, if you're 6,000, how bloody old am I? <laughs> <laughs> and that's the kind of person that Helen is, though. That's like one of my first interactions She's a lot of fun, her. right? She's such a firecracker. I yeah. love her so Well, much. congratulations on all your success. It's called, the movie's called Shazam! Fury of the Gods. It opens in theaters Friday. Rachel Zegler, everybody. We'll be back with...